At the end of Return of the Jedi, Emperor Palpatine is killed by being thrown into the Death Star's reactor. However, in Legends, the old Star Wars timeline, Palpatine actually survived this encounter and was able to come back to life in a new physical body. So how is he able to do this? At some point prior to his death, Palpatine learned the dark side ability called Transfer Essence. This ability allowed its user to preserve and transfer his or her consciousness into another body, or even an inanimate object. Powerful Sith Lords of the past used this power to cheat death, usually by transferring their Force Spirit into a Sith artifact or tomb, forever hunting those who came in contact with them. Other Sith Lords straight up took control of other people's bodies, and they were able to continue actively living like this for as long as they wanted, by doing the same thing over and over again whenever their current physical bodies died out. There was a risk though with possessing other people's bodies, which was if the person being possessed was somehow able to resist or repel the possession, then the Sith spirit would be sent into the void, which was basically hell for Star Wars. There the spirits would wander forever and go mad from endless torment. A way around this was to create clone bodies that didn't possess a conscious, which is exactly what Palpatine did before his first death. When he died, Palpatine transferred his Force Spirit into a clone body that he had stored on the planet Biss. After a successful transfer, he waited to recover and gain his strength back, before revealing himself to the New Republic. Six years later, almost right after Thrawn was defeated, Palpatine would finally come out of the shadows and make his moves in retaking the galaxy once more. He deployed newly constructed superweapons that took the New Republic by surprise and devastated their forces. He also kidnapped Luke Skywalker by teleporting him using a wormhole to his citadel on Biss. When he confronted Luke, he tried once again to convince the Jedi to join him and rule at his side. Although Luke dismissed Palpatine's persuasions, he ultimately knelt down and accepted to be his apprentice, knowing that he wouldn't be able to defeat Palpatine in a fight at his current state, and that he needed to learn the secrets of the dark side if he were ever to defeat the Sith Lord. Palpatine knew that Luke was deceiving him from the beginning, but he let the Jedi continue on. Palpatine understood that no matter how hard Luke would try, that he would eventually fall to the dark side and become his servant, as was a story for any Jedi that tried to learn the dark side without falling into it. And he was right. Luke eventually succumbed to the dark side and became a willing minion of Palpatine. However, Palpatine's gamble on obtaining one of the most powerful force users to his side would eventually backfire, as Luke would later be turned back to the light side with the help of his sister, Leia. Back to the light side and with new knowledge of some of the dark side's secrets, Luke fought Palpatine and was able to defeat him and lead him to his death. Despite this, Palpatine was able to keep on coming back in his new clone bodies that he had stored throughout the galaxy, but that wouldn't be the case for long. As while Palpatine was in spirit form returning back from one of his clone bodies, two of his dark side students betrayed him and proceeded to destroy all of his remaining clone bodies, but their plot was foiled and they were both executed with Palpatine being able to return into the last surviving clone body. This proved to be a major blow to the Sith Lord, as earlier another traitor within his rank sabotaged his clone templates, preventing him from producing any more viable clone bodies for him to use, and because of how consumed in the dark side he was, the dark side itself was literally eating away his physical body, making him weak and old. Desperate to be healed, Palpatine went to Korriban and asked for guidance from the ancient spirits of the past Sith. They told him to possess Leia's newborn son, Anakin Solo, and take his body for himself, and to have his loyal dark side adepts protect him while he grew into a full adult. With no other options left, Palpatine agreed and began to make preparations. When the time came, he confronted the Solos with their newborn and attempted to kidnap him but they, with the help of Luke and a few other Jedi, were able to prevent this. During the struggle, Palpatine was shot and killed by Han Solo, forcing the Sith to release his spirit from his body. With a last ditch attempt to come back to life, Palpatine moved his spirit towards Anakin Solo, but was blocked when Jedi Knight Brand sacrificed himself by forcing the spirit into his own body. Having Palpatine's spirit within him, the darkness ate away Brand's body, causing him to die shortly after. When he died, he was able to force Palpatine's spirit to be captured by every other Jedi who had become one with the Force when they died. They all kept Palpatine's spirit in a prison and never allowed him to resurrect himself ever again. And that's how Palpatine's story ended in Star Wars Legends. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. And as always, may the Force be with you.